this is a great video, and um, I would love to see this series. And see, this is why I just, you know, do impromptu vlogs. One thing is because yeah, it'd be great to have videos like this, but if you wait a year and then this is when you put out. But anyway, it's it's a good quality. And I like it. Um, I think it's, it makes a great point. You know, I mean, it brings to mind uh, very well how we're recreating the words at all times. Because for example, if I say you know, this, um, um, you know, this is a great dog or this is a great dog you know there's different meanings to those and if I was to miss the emphasis when I analyze the words and recreate them I'd miss that part of the meaning so when we do understand the words that somebody has spoken to us um, even then you know we're limited to the model of these words that we have created or you know you could say recreated in our, in our minds um, I'm gonna have a link to an optical illusion that I think shows a, di a similar thing about uh, perception but in the visual case. In this case you have the squares A and B are exactly the same shade but B looks much lighter. Um, it's obvious that what's coming to our eyes is you know, two shapes, the same shape with the same color. But what appears to us in actuality is the, the decoded three-dimensional version of what we're seeing, in which case if you saw two squares of the same color but one's in the shadow, you know the one in the shadow is actually lighter, and the mind goes, goes ahead and does that processing for you. You know, because we create a model of what we see, and it does not uh, match exactly what we see. If we see a picture like this, uh, one in the link, uh, on a piece of paper, you know, we deduce the 3D information, we deduce it as supposing to be three-dimensional, but it's supposed to be three-dimensional. Um, and and that's what we end up seeing is for that this post-processing, uh, the model that we've created. And in the model we create, the B square really is lighter because in our model we have used information that we've seen literally to deduce what we're seeing figuratively. And that is a lighter square in that 3D model, so that's what we see. Um, even though what was before our eyes uh, was a different matter, a two-dimensional scene, with two patches of color that are exactly the same color. If you stare at that, um, I like to, in optical illusions, get control of what I see, and this is a very difficult one to get control of. And control in this case would be, it would be to be able to look at that as patches of color and see, really see that those patches of color are the same. Very difficult to do. You can practice it by masking off, like take a post-it note or print, print the picture out, take a, another piece of paper and cut two holes just over A and B. And um, you'll see that they're the same colors and if you remove that, you can hold on to that. And um, if you do that, then you'll notice that what you're looking at is just a, pat a bunch of patches of color and the, the, the 3D analysis will have been removed if you can, if you can visualize it that way. So. Um, Anyway, very good point. I'd love to see this uh, a series like this or take part. You know, maybe we should collaborate and on the side do videos that take a little longer. But I think there's a lot of examples. There's a lot of illusions that you can go through that reinforce this. Uh, you know, this point. The, 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 these um, central illusions work because of how the mind works. So they tell us something about how the mind works.